Hello and welcome. This is a TMS video series for instructors and this session is on how you can find lab connectivity requirements and get help. The first thing we'll be looking at is how to find connectivity requirements for labs. Then we'll look into how you can get help and open support ticket. Our connectivity requirements can be found at https colon forward slash forward slash docs dot skillable dot com forward slash tms forward slash connectivity dash requires dot md. An easier way to find that will be by opening a lab. Let's take a look at how you can find those connectivity requirements on the labs in a class. From Site Administration, I'm going to go to Find Classes. We'll just hit Search. And I'm actually scheduled for a class here. Once you get to the class, you'll scroll down to the class activities. And you can get here from any class at all that you have access to or a course. You'll see the lab activity with the beaker. And over here on the far right, we have an eye icon and that will take you into our lab requirements documentation. We have connectivity requirements, bandwidth requirements, uh, firewall exceptions, a lab orientation and connectivity check, speed test. We have links out to both of those as well as proxy requirements and some other useful information for you. Let's stop and take a quick look at the lab orientation and connectivity check. When you click on the link here, it takes a few seconds for a lab to open. This is a very short lab that cancels out after 15 minutes. It's meant for a connectivity check, but what you may want to use it for as well is that it gives an introduction to using the lab environment. You can have your students step through the instructions here and read how to how to navigate and use this lab environment. We want to take a look at the speed test. The URL for the speed test is https colon forward slash forward slash skillable.com forward slash speed dash test. The link to our speed test is also in the connectivity requirements document under the speed test heading. You just click on the speed test link and it'll open up for you. The speed test is running from our production servers. So if anyone is having issues connecting to a lab, the test will show the issue. The test measures the most common factors that can impact connection quality to our lab environments. It works in all modern browsers and you don't need any additional plugins. We have all our data centers listed here. On your speed test, it's going to automatically select the one that is closest to you. If you have a lab instance in another location, you should change the server to get accurate results using the dropdown. So you can open this dropdown and choose a different data center. To see where your lab instance is, let's go back to our lab and take a look. If you have your lab open and running, you can go to the Help tab in the lab interface. You can see here under Support Information, your lab ID, your lab instance ID, what the host server is, and what data center that's also in. So let's go ahead and run the speed test. This output test covers download speed, upload speed, latency, and jitter. The table below describes expected quality for each range of results. And you can note that in-person class environments, download speed and upload speed are per student. Let's take a look at some ways that you can get help. We do have a direct contact phone number for you to our help desk. This appears when you are the instructor on a class that you are instructing, and you can use that number to call our help desk when you're having a struggle that is imposing on your class. We also have live chat over here on the side. This also connects over to our help desk. You can ask a question here and you'll have the choice to talk to an agent or submit a support ticket. You'll have the opportunity to type in what your question is. And it'll give you some suggestions for help articles that we have. 
which you can then open and read and maybe they'll answer your question. You can answer then, yes, that is what I wanted. No, I want to search again or no, I actually want to talk to somebody. And that's a quick way to get in and get your question answered without having to open a support ticket. Another access into our help documentation is just by clicking the help button. And once you click the help button, a window will open on the side. It should be interactive based on the page that you're on. If that wasn't what you were looking for, you can come over to the home button and go to instructor or student or administrator and look for articles, or you can type in a question up at the top here as well to find anything that has to do with the subject you're looking at. And then you can open up the article that you want to read. We can close that out. In addition to this, you can go to the contact link on our site navigation, and this will open contact information that allows you to get to our Learn On Demand Systems Help Center the same as our help system here, and also to open our support page where you can open a ticket. Another way for you to open a ticket, and especially one that is connected to your lab, is once you have launched a lab from a class, and you open the help tab over here on the side, not only do you have your ID for your lab instance and what server you're on and what data center you're on, but you can click here and submit a support request or you can chat with support from here as well and you can get to help files on frequently asked questions. When you do submit a support ticket from here, it is going to add your lab instance information if it is a ticket about lab instances. I have a problem with my lab it automatically puts in my lab instance number and gives me some information that I need to fill in. Thanks for joining me. That wraps up our video on how do I find lab connectivity requirements and get help.